Hello everyone, how are you all doing? This is gonna be part two of my Jazz Master journey. So in the first video, I was just talking through the, uh, the initial kind of assessment process of the guitar and I'm going through what I did to set it up basically. So adjusting the neck, changing the strings, uh, putting the bridge in, giving it a polish and all that stuff. So this, with part two, uh, I'm gonna talk about the first upgrade in, the, uh, in this process and that is gonna be the Stay Trem Tremolo. Now, the Tremolo arm on the Jazzmaster is, it's a really nice design and it works really well as a, um, you know, a vibrato kind of whammy bar thing. The only thing is, it can get clunky. Now, I'll, I'll show you a few demonstrations of how this is a problem. Now the clunkiness with the tremolo arm is because when you put the, the trem arm in, it's a, it's a screw in, so you, you know, rotate it and it goes in. In the mount of the tremolo arm, it's metal and, all, and the, the trem arm itself is metal. And then when you do the, when you try and work it, you get the contact between both metal bits. Then you get the like that. So I've just got a, a tremolo arm. So I'm gonna go through uh, and film me just installing that stage trem, tremolo arm. Okay, before we carry on with the process, I'm gonna clear something up quickly. This system on the guitar has historically been referred to as a tremolo arm, when in fact, it should be called a vibrato arm. Now, the effect of vibrato is the change in pitch, whilst the effect of tremolo is the change in volume. Now the confusion appears to have stemmed from when Leo Fender described his vibrato arm on the Stratocaster in 1954 as a tremolo device. And he perpetuated this confusion even further by referring to the tremolo effect in his guitar amplifiers as vibrato. <sighs> what were you thinking, Leo? Right, now on with the process. So I'm taking out the screw-in vibrato arm now the stage trim is actually a push in, which means it goes, you just push it in as opposed to screw it in, which means you don't get the effect of it swinging around when you're not using it. So here you can see I'm unwinding the strings from the tuning pegs, and I'm also unscrewing the tailpiece plate. So the strings are threaded through the tailpiece, which is positioned underneath the plate, and the vibrato system works by pushing or pulling down onto this tailpiece, which is then counteracted by a spring, also attached to the plate, which returns it to its normal pitch. And this in effect is how the vibrato system works on the Jazzmaster. And this system is called the floating tremolo, in brackets, vibrato. Now I'm just comparing the shapes of the vibrato arms, so they're just a slight difference. The stock one has a bit more of a bend, whilst the stay trem is a little bit more curved. They are both pretty much the same length, and there you can see the instructions for the collet and how to install it. Now the collet is included underneath this vibrato mechanism, which I'm just taking off now. I'm just unscrewing the collet which houses the uh, stock vibrato arm with a very rudimentary spanner uh, taken from my bike repair kit. That's a point, I do need a spanner. Let me just quickly write that down to remind me. Get a spanner, you spanner. Good. In the end, I managed to install the Staytrem collet with a kitchen utensil. Sometimes you just gotta be resourceful and just use what you can. Now, as you can see, I'm also reinstalling the spring included in that vibrato arm. And if you loosen or tighten this spring, this will affect the tension of that vibrato arm. So it's either harder or easier to affect the pitch of the strings when you're using that vibrato technique. Usually when you are doing work on a guitar or removing the vibrato plate, which I'm doing now, it's easier to just take the strings off 
But what I've done is I've taken them off the tuning pegs, but not actually taken them or cut them off entirely. That's just me saving money, basically. They were fairly new strings, only a few weeks old, and I wasn't just going to cut them off then and there. They still had some life in them. And also, it is possible to get the strings back into the tuning pegs because of the way the Fender vintage style ones are. You can just slot the end of the string into the slot and then wind it back up again. So with the collar installed and the strings back on, let's have a go at this stay trim arm. Right, and here's just a little demonstration of how the, uh, the stay trim arm goes in and out. If you want it out, give it a yank. There we go. Taken out. There, now you don't need to use it. If you want it back in, slot it into the mount like so. Give it a good squeeze down. There, it's in. And look at that. Mm -hmm. 